How's it going everyone? Wild Thang here. In this video we are playing some Red Dead Redemption 2 and I'm going to show you how to get perfect pelts every time you go hunting. Now hunting itself is an art form in Red Dead 2 and it can be a little bit tricky and it can be daunting at first. So hopefully at the end of this video you'll have an idea as to how to get perfect pelts from whatever animal you are hunting at the time. So first off I'm going to give you some tips on pelts and then we'll move on to hunting. So first off, your binoculars are your best friend when you're hunting. They give you all the information you need as to what animal you are hunting and what weapon to use against them to get a clean kill and a perfect pelt. Another thing with pelts, you can lose them. They can come off your horse. So if you end up falling down a cliff or your horse falls over, you smash into something or you go into deep water, your pelt will come off and you will lose it, unfortunately. I've had this happen quite a few times. Um, but yeah, it's frustrating but, and I didn't know this at first, but yes, you can actually lose your pelts. And obviously using the correct weapon is going to help as well because if you use the wrong weapon, you won't get a clean kill and you won't get that perfect pelt. So let's go ahead and start this thing off. So what you want to do is equip your binoculars because your binoculars are very important and you want to obviously zoom in to the animal that you're tracking and study ev each and every animal that you come across because it will give you the information you need to get a perfect kill. So down the bottom right here, I've already I've already studied this animal, so it now shows show info. So you can hit R1, brings up a little box down the bottom left saying it's pristine. That's the animal that you want. You want the pristine animals. Down the bottom right here, we've got three stars as well, and then the name of the animal. So three stars and then American pronghorn doe. If I go over a different one, you'll see that that one's two star and that one's one star in the back there. So those two are useless. Just don't even bother going for them unless, of course, you need meat or something. Also in the bottom left there, it says use a rifle for a clean kill. So I have I forget what weapon I have on me. Let me just check this for you. I've got the Springfield rifle on me at the moment. Uh, it does need to be maintained, so I'm just gonna quickly do that now whilst we are chatting. So, once you've figured out what you need to kill your animal with and you have to get a headshot, just always aim for the head. You can use your dead eye as well, that helps. You can also use the, I think it's called the eagle vision to find animals that are near you. So if you click the left and right analog sticks in, you can see that the animals are glowing. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to crouch just to give me a little bit more stealth. And obviously it does help so that you don't get seen. And also if you can see just slightly down the bottom left there, coming off the left side of my character, there is... A little like stink line so that's your own scent so make sure that that is kind of going away from the animal that you're hunting because otherwise you will spook them okay so which one do we need to go for is it where'd he go oh, I lost him is it this one over here that's the one we want okay so I'm gonna move in a little bit closer I mean yeah this can take a lot of time to do if you have a long scope, you can probably do it from further away. But just be patient because you don't want to spook the animal and then have them run away. Okay, I've actually just got a bounty on me, so this is very awkward. I'm just going to quickly kill this for you. So there we go. I've got a headshot. I have no idea what why I'm being hunted here. This is awkward, guys. I do apologise. I have a bounty on me in this area from a story mission. <laughs> so... And that was awkward. <laughs> anyway, moving on. All right, we're going to go over and check out check out our killing. So, so I do hope this video is going to help you guys. It's just a little bit of a uh, a knowledge bomb, I guess. And so, when you walk up to the animal, you'll see down the bottom right there. It's got three stars still, and it's a perfect kill. So that means when we skin it, we're going to get a perfect skin so let me just go ahead and skin this one for you and there you go perfect pronghorn hide so you can do this with any animal whatsoever just make sure you use your binoculars study the animal get that information so you know what weapon to use because you may need to use a bow with a small animal arrow 
Uh, you may need to use a rifle with, when it says a scoped rifle, you can still use like a normal rifle. I found that they both work. It's always a lot easier when you know what to kill the animal with and always aim for that headshot. Use Deadeye if you need to, because Deadeye also brings up little red areas on the animal showing you where a clean kill can be. But I always just aim for the head just because it's easier. And yeah, I hope this video has helped. Let me know in the comments below if you'd like to see any other guides. I'm going to try and do some videos on specific animals and where to find them, what to use, etc. If, if you find them useful, then please do let me know and I will try and get as many out to you as possible. But anyway, that's my guide on getting perfect pelts in Red Dead Redemption 2. I hope you have an awesome day and I will see you in the next one.